This time on Woody's garage, we get Cheech and Chong's lawnmower. All right, what do we got here? Today we got a Honda HR214, I think that says. I got on uh, Craigslist as a freebie. Butte. It just, I've never seen one that looked like this. Maybe they're commonplace, I don't really know. But uh, one of the first things I notice is it's rear wheel drive, which is good because I got a hill right over there that's a little difficult and a front wheel drive the wheels just spin now the owner of it said that it didn't run this year but it was running before and that they put a new blade on it in 2023 and that's all i know about it it's got this weird ass transmission it's two speed high low it's got the choke up here i like a manual choke and i don't know what the hell that thing is and it didn't have a bag or anything um so i picked it up yesterday i pulled the uh, pull start just to see if it would pull over and it does so i'm hoping it's just the usual water and gas or whatever let's see if it's got any oil in it Oh, the oil doesn't look bad. It's a little over full. No, actually, it's a little under. It's okay for now. It's got gas in it. Doesn't smell that bad. Okay, we'll come over to this side of the mower. And here we got, oh, it's an overhead valve, by the way. Engine is a typical Honda carb. That's a drain right there. And that holds the bowl on. So, so if you drain this, you don't really get it all. You really need to take that one out. But we'll uh, crack this one first and see what comes out. Hmm, nothing. <laughs> that probably means the uh, float is stuck. Oops, I not tell if I was going the right way. <laughs> Ooh. That bowl is, is dry, we don't have that bowl off yet. But, um, that screw is a little rusty. And there is gas in the tank. And there's no shutoff that I see. Yeah. Hmm. Friggin' weird. Oh no, I think that is. No, that's a gas right there. Oh, and I hear it flowing. I think. Wow. Oh, it's flowing now. Hmm. All right. Flow a little gas. I mean, could it be they just didn't turn the gas on? Just letting a little gas run out of it. All right. Turn it off. Yeah, we just lost all the gas. Okay, I'm gonna put that. Um, actually, I might as well take this down. Obviously, I don't know what I'm doing. Here we have the bowl. Pretty crusty, but not the worst. The float feels free. I just cleaned up that bowl. Put it back on. Yeah, bowl's a little stained and pitted. We got the uh, drain plug and screw kind of cleaned up. There's a little evidence of water in that gas. You can see it at the bottom there. And I caught that later, so that's usually a telling sign. 
I'm gonna try to um, squirt some brake clean up in this hole here and just spray that down a little bit. Okay, that's on. Let's turn the gas on. See if it leaks or anything. Not leaking. Now we gotta figure out this uh, choke thing. This is kind of funny. So this year when they were trying to start it and it wouldn't start, and this thing's staring them in the face the whole time. <laughs> on a hot day. Okay, we got it says choke, so that must be on choke, right? High, low, idle, and stop. So maybe this is a throttle control. High throttle, low throttle, and stop. It's kind of interesting. Here. A nice clean looking air filter. And that's a throat down to the uh, carb. Let's put some brake clean in there and see what it does. Next, it's a uh, spark. Uh, I assume that's a spark plug. <laughs> Honda plugs are always so hard to get out. There's a plug. It doesn't look bad. So we get a spark out of it. Oh, it's one of these. CDK. Oh, it looks like it says, look at this. And hey, what's your first thought on the name of that? The Fart. Goes with the Parts and Farts Honda Z50, I guess. Okay. Well, we got Spark. Hmm. Doesn't look bad either. Let's, um,. Spray a little carb clean in that, in the cylinder. Yeah, cheap plugs, I don't like cheap plugs.
super fast. Trying to put it there. I don't know how to shut it off. <laughs> that says stop. So it finally ran out of gas. Took about uh, a half an hour at least. But uh, I want to get the oil out of it. And I was lucky enough to find a manual online. And I said, yeah, okay, let's see, how do you change the oil? Do you just dump it out of this or? No, it has this plug right here. It says drain it there. I mean, where does it go? <laughs> yeah, that seems pretty stupid. So I think I'll tip it and see if I can get it all out of here. Okay, we got the, at least the majority out. Let's see what happens if we open this up. I mean, it's just gonna go right in here. It's like the dumbest drain in the world. Yeah, well, we got it out. So, it's barely dripping. Look at this dipstick. It's like a uh, cable. Huh, it's kind of cool. Ooh. Got a look see underneath. And yeah, we do have a new blade. Never been sharpened. It's kind of fancy schmancy because of all the drives and all that. There's no bag with it. We want to get these controls working right. Oh, so what I was doing while it was running was you push this in to engage the blade and then you push these two together so that you have the drive going and the blade going at the same time but which is kind of nice you can turn the blade off and drive it without the blade so if you know you're going down the street or something like that and you don't necessarily want the blade like blowing everything around you don't have to but this is another issue right here. I don't think it's working quite right. And this isn't either. It seems like all I have is uh, the jackrabbit. The tortoise ain't happening. So I think maybe we'll get a little lube on those cables anyway. Kind of like to clean it up a little bit. I don't know. What do you what do you think this is made out of? Aluminum or something? It's kind of what attracted me to it. You know, it's not going to rot out. I hope. Okay, kind of doing a front wheelie here. Show a little PB blaster at all these. And I notice that this is kind of kinked up here. And this is the choke and speed. So if any of them are messed up, it's this one. And you can see that cable should be down in there. So I think we'll try to pop this off. Let's see if I can pop this off. Yeah, I can kind of unscrew it here. 
there. Get off there, you son of a bitch. Where are my fingers out? Okay. Yeah, we can get some lube down there. I want to see this get sucked in, and that'll probably give us the, you know, the ability to, to shut the engine down and get the two different speeds. As long as it's up like this, it'll just keep feeding down there, for it has no choice. I'll have to fight the other guys. They're just screwing around. I've seen some fierce battles with them before though. I had to break up one fight. One was biting the other one's neck and I just got them apart. And it was weird that the uh, that swan came and visited me for like a week every single day afterwards. So here we get a little look at the uh, transmission art. Uh, differential or whatever. And uh, yeah, I wish I had a, even a better look. Oh, look, I do. To uh, lube the cables at this end. Maybe I do, and I just haven't really looked at it yet. But we'll still let uh, oil seep down this way for a while. And I suppose I should have known this. This is where that cable comes out. and goes right here. it completely this should go forward f further what's holding that up I don't know it doesn't feels free but the cable says it should be going further I don't know. I can see how that works the throttle. Well, maybe you can't, I can. Why can't you? See it in there? Probably not. Look at the gunk on it though. This is a mower. It came from a well to do neighborhood. But, uh, it's like all they did was use it, you know? I don't know. I guess that's how most people think about these machines. They don't really care about them. Looks like there's access to all the cables and stuff here. It's plasticky. I don't want to break it. But uh, I do want to get in there at some point. I'm going to hose this thing down. I'm going to clean it a bit. Probably looks the same to you. I don't know. But uh, besides the throttle cable, the drive cable is also hung up, remember? So I just put it down to the low speed down here. And you can kind of see it's doing the same thing that the other cable's doing. It's not returning down there. So I'm gonna see if there's something in the manual, manual about taking that cover off. Just because it's plastic. Sure, I can wedge a screwdriver behind it, but uh, I don't wanna bust it. Old plastic. 
So what I mean, can you dig the chrome handle? <laughs> it's so chrome. This thing's nuts. I love it. Okay, it's after lunch, so I've let those cables soak a little bit, and they have not loosened up. So, you can destroy this thing. Oh, I see. Yeah, these uh, low sun angles in the fall. It's like a 10 millimeter right there. I'm glad I didn't pry harder. <laughs> Seven millimeter. I can't even see it down there. All right. There we are. Seven millimeter. A little junk. Okay, we got a washer. And that's possibly the reason it's not shifting. <laughs> okay. You know, it's crazy. They said it wouldn't start, but there were obviously other issues with it. I'm going to clean that junk out. Now you probably want to watch that because it's filthy. <laughs> Okay, so there's a drive shaft here that goes to the transmission back there. And that was all jammed up with gunk. And this got so much junk in there that it pushed this boot off. That I'm sure it's supposed to go over here. And this hole where this cable goes, that was all jammed up too. But, um,. Doesn't mean any of the cables are going to work right yet. We'll have to see what does what, kind of. Okay, working on the throttle shutoff here. We still got that slack. We got a little piece of cable shit sheathing that might get kind of stuck in there. See if we can pull it through. Oh yeah, that's how much it pulled through. But I mean, it pulled through. But what kind of action is it doing here? Nothing. I would kind of think maybe this lever right here is the shutoff. This is in the off position right now though, so if, <laughs> maybe I'm wrong about that. I think I am wrong about that. It's gotta be some kind of electronic shutoff. Very strange. This could be way out of adjustment though too, but still. Oh, that just went underneath there. I don't want that. Okay, watch that cable. That just went all the way up into the choke setting on the throttle. And as you see, I can actually pull that a little more. You see the linkage there. Yeah, so maybe we're just way out of adjustment. And the adjustments can be made right here. Although it's pretty tapped out on adjustment. 
Hmm. Ah, yeah, that's not too cool. And so is this. It's... Okay, let's see if we can figure out the transmission. Since we can't figure this out. Okay, this cable here goes down to the blade to uh, engage the blade. And that seems to be working fine, thank goodness. We got a little blaster on this. So we can move it back to its home. Okay, I kind of pushed the boot on. It can't really go any further than that. I can't believe it if it's shrunk down and it used to fit inside of here. Um, that big old ring is right here because there's a groove for it. So maybe it just holds it right here. Anyway, we got it on like that far. And uh, probably where it will remain. We might put a little more grease in there. Well, sorry, you just missed the spectacular display of pulling this out. I'm getting all the grass and stuff out of here. This is pretty loaded up. Okay, we're back up in the front wheelie position. Looking under here. What we see is something that's like an actuator right there, right here, and then back here there is, oh, maybe we move that out of the way. I can't do that with two hands. Yeah, you see that thing right there? Right there with a the nut. We'll have to see if that thing is moving on its own. And I probably won't be able to film it. I have to take my word on what moves here and what doesn't. So the lever that moves, that has the uh, rabbit and the turtle on it, engages this pin right here. And this pin is, is totally stiff. When it, it pu will push it in, but then it'll remain in. It won't come back out to this position. This is as far as I've gotten it out so far. So I'm hoping it's not all gunked up inside the trans, but it might be. It might just be the cable, but uh, we're gonna put some uh, PB blaster on it and uh, sort of work the cable a little bit, move that stuff back and forth. Kind of hard to video because of the way things are. You could probably see me moving, but you wouldn't see this thing moving. So this is the cable here. That we're trying to get freed up. It's definitely the cable. And then watch when I try to move the lever. It's just pulling the spring. Well, we're kind of onto it now. At least I know what's going on. If you look down here, there's a lever right there, and it moves up and down, and I can't tell if this part is stiff or if the cable's stiff, but we are getting movement out of it now. Jackrabbit. And back down to tortoise. Turtle if you prefer. <clears throat> I hope, I'm hoping you can see this. I'm going to lighten all sorts of junk in here. Okay. And then if I push it down, like that. That is wicked stiff though. Wicked stiff. I'm going to do that a few times and see if it starts to loosen up. be able to see but I'm working the lever the rabbit turtle lever at the same time moving the crap out of things and pushing the thing ow <laughs> ow ow pushing the thing up and down and 
it's definitely loosened up quite a bit. Not sure if that's the oil that's getting through the cable or the lube I put on it. Ooh, it's going up and down by itself. Man, I've smashed my fingers in this thing a hundred times. They hurt. Yeah, it just gets better and better. Look at that. Can you see it? I mean, I can barely see this. I don't know why I have to make you see it. I'll make you suffer and look at it. See that moving? I'm about to lose battery too. Of course. Okay, it's pretty well loosened up. A couple of observations. I noticed that there is another one of these right here. And yes, the uh, there is an outside O-ring right there. But so much for that. So I actually got some heat on it. I took the torch and I just gave it a little bit of heat and it seemed to help loosen it up somewhat. So um, I put some gas in it. I think we have the uh, on-off valve on so that we got gas. Still don't know if we have a way to shut it off. I'll probably have to pull a spark plug, which we can do. Got some Labrador in it. all that smoke again. I mean, is that just <laughs> rings? No, it's not really blue. It's kind of gray smoke. Um, at first it took off in high gear, but then as I let it go a little bit, it slipped down into low gear. And then I switched back a couple of times and it's uh, sticky, but it's working. And also the shut off works. I don't know how, how, just a little extra bit of lubrication, I guess, on the cable. I didn't really notice anything happening, though. Uh, the carb should have a good clean, because obviously it doesn't start right up. But um, the smoke is concerning. So, what I wanted to check today was I ran it again and I wanted to see if the uh, exhaust was would smoke after it was shut off now that it's nice and hot and I don't see any smoke coming out of there, meaning all the residual oil that would be in the uh, muffler has burnt off. So, you know, I don't know if there was any when I started it up when it had all that smoke or just something to check. Another thing I want to check. As if there's smoke coming out of here, and there's no smoke coming out of here. And if there was, 
that would kind of mean that the rings are bad that you know there's some blow by from the compression and uh, it would smoke but there's no smoke either this is so strange now what I've read online now this is a common problem with these things and this, this thing's like 80 years old actually I think it's like 25 years old or something like that is that uh, it could be the head gasket which does make sense because if the gasket's not there the um, push rods would leak oil into the head uh, worst case scenario is valve guides which I believe would have to be pressed out in a machine shop and replaced if you can even find them which I have not found and it does not seem to be rings what we're going to do with it right now is let it cool down we'll start it up again and um, we will see if it smokes also I brought down the oil level to under full capacity to see if that helped at all I also thought about the, the breather from from the overhead valve to the carburetor uh, first I was thinking if it's clogged maybe it'd be a problem or if that's pumping oil into the carb how it would do that I'm not sure Okay, we started this up this morning and there was a lot less smoke but there's still smoke so <laughs> don't know what that means don't know whether to uh, give it away and tell people it smokes unlike the people who uh, gave it to me and didn't, didn't mention that at all or uh, I don't know pull off the head see if it is a head gasket or something or something I don't know I kind of like it you know it's neat it's an old Honda it's kind of deluxe with the um, two-speed transmission and all a nice heavy aluminum base we'll see <laughs> 